Hey guys, I've been PvPing since Alpha and I've used Sword and Pistol pretty much the entire time. Now, I've already made a tips video on how to use the sword, but to be honest, I don't use the pistol nearly as much as I should. Yet, people have been asking for a tips video on the pistol, so here is a quick video I put together that can hopefully help you out. Now, the first thing you need to know about pistols is that each model actually fires differently, so you're gonna have to try some out to see what works best for you. For instance, the Triumphant Sea Dog pistol, while it doesn't have an iron sight, you can still get a pretty good shot just by using the edge of the gun. However, something like, say, the Reaper pistol, which also doesn't have an iron sight, you can't really rely on that because if you notice, the bullet goes out way higher than the edge of the gun, so you're gonna have to compensate for that. So again, you really have to try each skin out and see how it feels. Now, just to show you, the Bone Crusher pistol, which looks pretty cool, has an iron sight, yet if you notice, the bullet comes out way to the right. Rare, I don't know what you were doing with this one, but you dropped the ball big time. So always check to see if it's aligned correctly. What I would recommend and what I use is the Ebon Flintlock, which is hard to get, but they have other versions like the Aristocrat or the Mercenary. It has a built-in iron sight that is aligned perfectly. So this is my go-to choice when using the pistol. Next up is aiming your pistol. So the pistol actually has bullet drop after a certain distance. So if you're trying to shoot a target that's far away, you're gonna have to compensate for that. So make sure you aim a little bit higher than you normally would. It's always a good idea to keep track of how much health an enemy player has left. And the pistol takes off around half of a health bar, which means that it takes two shots to kill another player. Or if you're using the sword, that would mean two hits with the sword and then a single pistol shot. Now I know I've said this before, but the reason I use the pistol over something like the blunderbuss is that it is an all around viable weapon. You can use it on the deck of a ship, you can use it on land, you can even use it underwater and still be able to hold your own. So for me, one of the best times to use the pistol is when your target is just outside of your sword range and standing relatively still. Also, if you play very aggressively and use the sword like I do, your target might actually forget that you have a gun after a while, so it's good to sprinkle that in every now and then to surprise them. Oh, he just killed me. Oh, he just killed me too. <laughs> Hey, I have a gun too, by the way. They always forget. Now, it's extremely common in Sea of Thieves to have an enemy try and board you while you're moving, and whether you knock them off the ladder or they just miss it completely, try to resist the urge to kill them while they're in the water, because what you want to actually do is try and get one pistol shot on them. That way you don't kill them, and they have to go back to their boat and eat fruit to heal up, which helps deplete their resources. They, they, they probably worked pretty hard on it, so yeah. Dude, give up. Or just talk to me. It's not that hard. Enjoy that fruit. <laughs> go eat some fruit. And finally, it should go without saying, the pistol is a great tool for exploding kegs on enemy ships. So you wanna always keep an eye out for a keg in the crow's nest or on deck somewhere. And you wanna practice your aim because you don't wanna miss that shot when you get the chance. You know what, I don't think they have it on board yet. There it goes, there it goes. There it is. Okay guys, that's all I have for today. I stream every weekday afternoon and most weekends at twitch.tv slash blurbs. If you have any other questions or you just wanna come hang out and say what's up, please stop by. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.